All right, ladies and gents, I'm gonna explain the hard disk drive and some of the pieces and parts inside of the hard disk drive and uh, show you how it works. What I've done is I've removed the screws from the lid. Do not do this at home. If you take the lid off, you're gonna introduce dirt and debris and dust into this thing and it's gonna stop working. It even says product warranty is void if any seal or label is removed. So I've broken the warranty. I voided the warranty on my hard drive, but that's okay. This thing didn't work anyways. I've already opened it up in the past as a demonstration of how it works. So once you've taken the lid off, let me explain some of the parts. The thing in the center here is the spindle, okay? This is what rotates and holds the platter or the disc. Let me see if I can zoom in here. So this particular hard drive only has one platter I've marked it here with a marker. It's kind of difficult to see, but notice it rotates. So when you boot up a computer, this rotates very fast. And this is measured in rotations per minute. Common RPM rates for modern hard drives are between 5,400 and 7,200 rotations per minute. So this spins around and as it's spinning, This actuator arm moves back and forth over the surface of the platter. Now it doesn't touch the platter. It basically just hovers over the platter. At the end of the actuator arm is the read write head. And this is what reads and writes the data to the platter. It does this using electromagnetism. So a hard disk drive uses magnetic properties to store the bits or the ones and zeros. Again, it doesn't touch the surface of the platter. It hovers over it. In fact, the distance between the platter and this read write head is called the flying height. And it's about five nanometers, which is very, very, very small. So again, as the platter is spinning, obviously it's attached to the spindle, it spins around. And as this platter is spinning, the actuator arm moves back and forth and the read write head on the end of the actuator arm is what writes and reads the data to that platter. Very cool technology. As you can see though, there's a lot of moving parts and uh, these things do have issues. One being that they're very slow because there are so many moving parts involved because it takes a minute for this to spin up and get to speed and for this actuator arm to move back and forth to find that data, this is uh, kind of a slower technology than what's out there now. So hope you found this video informative. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until then, peace.